Foul was on Desmond Bain. Side in. Little fadeaway elbow jumper. No good. Offensive rebound. And again, defense contesting. A tight John Morant trying to get in on the block game. The foul called, though. This, this Memphis team. Brooks has the last six, and Bain's going to pull up from way deep. Couldn't hit. Offensive rebound. That's the specialty for Adams. Aldama, the Spaniard, puts it in. Extra possessions created by one of the. In the house for the best team right now. Like, this is, at the end of the day, this is my job, and I'm locked in, but. I mean, there we go! <laughs> this is just exciting, like, it's, like, it's just, as people fly by, he's getting it off. He's, he's just, he's doing a great job, so. I've been telling him all the time, like, just keep shooting him, bro. Keep shooting They've done a, a real nice job here, and credit should go to. Zach Kleiman. They have drafted well as Roddy hits the three. And if it's not the pick they took, it's a draft night trade like Roddy, who was picked by Philly at 23, and they acquired him. Basketball game on the floor. And look, you got to find a, a leader in this youth. Whoa, between the legs, Aldama nearly found Adams and a whistle there. How the heck did he complete that? No pass? idea. Santi Aldama taking advantage of all this extra playing time this year. 6'11. His dad played in the 92 Olympics as the host nation of Spain. Another seven footer as an uncle who was also a professional in Spain. Came to the United States, played a couple of years at Loyola, Maryland, was drafted 30th. Another low pick acquired. Didn't see a lot of time last year. Spent time in the summer league as more of a veteran player, and he has really surprised Taylor Jenkins and the coaching staff this year here early. No skilled, as you said, you know, stayed here all summer, wanted to get better, improve his craft. Evan Mitchell coming downhill off a of Rudy screen, him pressuring the rim with his verticality. Took it away from Morant, but. Memphis took it right back and promptly turned it back over. Jaden McDaniels making a run at Morant for the basket. And that's an early timeout called by Taylor Jenkins. A minute free throws, making it a five point game. Adams just throws it in the air and Aldama brings it down. That's a nice play. That's just that's just great play call. Well, Anderson, number nine against Minnesota. So again, pressure, pressure, pressure. You see McDaniels. So what do you do? Cat is the guy guarding it. Such a valuable member of this growing second unit. All against Memphis and Santi Aldama. And let's take a look at the upcoming national TV. Where's it on his sleeve as he heads to the bench? Russell missing outside. Gobert pushing inside. And that'll be four on Rudy Gobert. And the, the LeBeau, our statistician, 56th game. John Morant's had at least 20 points, five rebounds, five assists. And he is now tied for the most in franchise history with Marc Gasol. And he's going <laughs> to motorboat away from oh my Mr. Goodness. Gasol by the time this is all said and done. How about that stop start move? That was ridiculous. He's in the trees and somehow comes out with a bucket. John Moran with 26 points, eight rebounds, and making eight assists. Aldama with the reverse. That one got him on their feet here in Memphis. This is where you, you feel the a little bit of concession by Minnesota where it pulls apart. As they turn over Carl Anthony. Shot clock hits 10. Desmond Bain taking out two players here. Setting the big screen for Morant. Long rebound, another 14 seconds for the Grizz. And a whistle against Minnesota Games. And a steal for Anderson. How about John Morant with this game already in the bag, hustling to the very end. 28 points, 10 rebounds, 8 assists, and a whole lot of heart as the Grizzlies go to 9-4 and four on the season. Carl well, Anthony Towns in a frustrating start. Minnesota drops to 5-8 and eight on the year.